Hold on, Microsoft is listening in on Skype conversations? Well, yes, but kind of not really in a surprising way. This is something that has been in the news recently, and I definitely think it's been sensationalized, which should not be a surprise, but I am so disappointed by the mainstream headlines these days. It really is fake news, or at least sensationalized clickbait news. So when I first read some of these headlines, I was actually shocked. I'm like, whoa, they're all talking about this. It must be the real deal. Microsoft must actually be spying on Skype conversations, regular old sp Skype conversations, because you hear some headlines. I believe Vice Motherboard was the first uh, news site to break it. They say, revealed, Microsoft contractors are listening to some Skype calls. And then from The Verge, Microsoft contractors are listening to select Skype calls and Cortana recordings. Fox News, Microsoft contractors are listening to your intimate conversations on Skype calls. That's the most sensationalized one. That's just ridiculous. And then probably the most correct one I actually heard, so this is a good one, what it should have been on all these other sites, from Fast Company, they say, Microsoft may be listening to your translated Skype calls just like every other tech company. That last one is the most realistic one that actually describes what happenings. All the other ones are just clickbait fake news, in my opinion. So this is what's actually happening. It's not like Microsoft is just taking any old Skype conversations that are one-on-one -on -one with no processing in the middle and recording all of them and then just shipping them off to these contractors for no reason or these contractors have access to any old Skype conversation. It's specifically these translated ones and you have to assume these days that anytime you're using a service that is processing your voice in any way using AI, whether it's a voice assistant that you're asking for the weather or you're using it to translate something, the AI has to be trained somehow, okay? The AI just doesn't automatically get coded one day and then automatically knows how to translate. How it works is it has to be trained by a human when it's wrong. And what these articles actually do describe, if you actually read into it past the title, is the contractors will get the snippet of the conversation which has personal information removed and then a few possible translations that the AI came up with and then they pick the most accurate one and then that's it. So the way I see it, this is pretty standard AI training. It's taking little snippets. They say sometimes it's longer, but I don't know how much longer, maybe like a minute tops, I would think, not even. But it's not taking entire conversations and just shipping it off and saying, like, hey, this person said this, can you translate it? It's not like that. So how bad is the actual situation? I think that the bigger problem is that Microsoft and really all these other AI companies are not being forthcoming about how often they use your conversations to train the AI. I think they should be much more transparent about this. A lot of times they hide it in the settings. I think Amazon is the only one that gives you the option to even opt out. All the other companies, Apple, Google, they just tell you that, yeah, we're gonna do this. And then you, if you don't wanna do that, you just have to like return the product or whatever. At least Amazon gives you the option. I think really they should sh say, look, typically we listen to maybe 1% of the inquiries into the AI assistant. And then at least give the option, even if it's like hidden deep in the settings to opt out, then the people who really, really want to not have that enabled can go do it if they really want to. But I think they should at least tell you, yes, we might listen in, someone might listen into a snippet and this is the chance of it happening. And I think if they did say, look, 1%, of these conversations might get tested by a human, that wouldn't scare too many people. But if they don't say it, and then you find out that these conversations are being recorded, I think that scares people. And the articles do talk about how there was like intimate conversations that were being recorded. And I think another big problem that they kind of touch on in the article is that a lot of these are contractors. They're not Microsoft employees. So yeah, they signed NDA agreements, non-disclosure agreements, but I think they should lock it down a little bit more and have employees that actually, you know, work in a Microsoft office. And they do say in the articles that a lot of these contractors work from home. They make it a point to say, oh, we're listening to these conversations in pajamas. I'm not really sure if that makes a difference. I think that's more sensationalizing. But 
I think if it was in an office environment, it would make it a lot harder for conversations to be you know, recorded or tracked. I think if someone's an employee in an office, they're a lot less likely to maybe goof on it and record it with their phone or something and then share it with their friends You know, if there's other people around in the office, something like that. So I do think that they should use actual employees to do this and I think that should be done in an office. I don't think a lot of people feel comfortable knowing that just people in their home, contractors, are able to listen in on these conversations. They're not listening in. I keep saying that, but I should make it point. They're not listening in on the conversations. They're getting random snippets selected by the system that isn't sure what this says, and then it's presented to the contractors. They choose a predetermined translation, and then that's it. So even the article headline saying they're listening in really is not accurate, and I'm kind of getting sick of these headlines. People talk about fake news. I think this type of fake news is just another category of fake news. It's like sensationalized. It's almost fake news by omission. They don't include the fact that it's only this subset, small type of Skype conversation that most people don't use. And again, like I touched on, I think the bigger problem here is the fact that they don't tell you up front. I tested this myself. I tried to do like a translation call to myself. And yeah, it does have the translation bot. And it actually does say you give your permission to give the content of the conversation to the bot. It specifically says bot which kind of implies that only a computer is gonna be receiving the content. So I definitely think this is bad that Microsoft is not more forthcoming. They should say, you give Microsoft the ability to use this content to train the AI or something like that. When it says the bot, it kind of implies that it's gonna be kept in a computer environment. And Microsoft does say that they ask for permission to use the data. I think that's BS too. I don't think they're being honest at all. I mean, even if you click into the privacy policy below the you know permission thing, it just takes you to a general Microsoft privacy policy. It doesn't tell you anything about how your voice is gonna be used. So I definitely think Microsoft is not being forthcoming enough about how your data is used or even the chance that it might be listened to a human. But overall, you really should not be surprised. And I think a lot of people are gonna start waking up to this. And I think companies are gonna have to start and be forced to tell people that yes, we are occasionally gonna be listening to this data. I think a lot of people are gonna start rejecting that unless they do start doing something like we agree to maybe only listen to a maximum of 1% of your uh, snippets if you have this enabled at all. I think that would be a great compromise because then at least people will know, okay, I shouldn't probably say anything to this uh, AI assistant that I don't at least want people having a chance of hearing even if it's anonymous. You know what I mean? That should be how you're treating it now, but I don't think a lot of people do that. The other thing is these talk about how the Cortana also receives recordings. That should not be a surprise. That's gonna be the same with all the other companies. So really, you should not be surprised this is happening. I think these articles are real, really being sensationalist, but it is what it is at this point in time. So really, that's all I have to say about this topic. But if you guys wanna keep watching, speaking of Microsoft, I just made another video talking about how Windows is finally, after like 30 years, getting a brand new terminal. So if you wanna check that out, I'll put the video link right here. You can just click on that. Highly recommend that would be the next one you watch. So thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.